Hey guys, Technology Brett, and uh, I just want to do a quick video about uh, some of the Twitter uh, Twitter apps on the iPad. Uh, there's uh, three major ones that are out there right now. I mean, there's just gobs and gobs and gobs of different Twitter apps, but there's three big ones. And the first one is uh, that I'm going to show you is TweetDeck. Now, if you have TweetDeck on your computer, it's very similar. You're going to notice right away that it's got the same... Um, same type of layout with the, the different columns here. Um, the default it has is your friends, your at mentions, and then your um, direct messages. You can also add, uh, as you can see here, I've added uh, favorites. And uh, if we want to add the direct messages, we can click this little plus sign here. And uh, it's going to ask what type of column we want. And you just kind of flip through direct messages, add column. And it's going to load it right in there, and you can kind of scroll back and forth that way. Now, if you're not happy with the the layout, if you want your friends in the middle, your ad mentions over here, your messages here, um, in this little menu bar here, you can just hold your finger down, and it's going to let you kind of drag and drop, um, you know, wherever you want your your uh, columns, however you want to line them out. You can do it that way and then uh, just double tap and it's going to put them right back there. Now you can also do this in uh, portrait mode and it's going to flip around and then you're going to have two columns that way. But uh, it really works best, you know, three columns in the landscape mode uh, as you can see right there. Um, let's see what you can also do. This is, what, this is the menu that uh, you're going to bring up if you want to post a tweet and um, just put demoing uh, I forgot the name of this app, TweetDeck. I'm such an idiot. And uh, <laughs> anyway, so if, if you just wanted to, uh, you know, post a tweet demoing TweetDeck. There you go. Return and send it, and it's going to go ahead and update your status. And you can see it shows up right there. You can also pull it down. To refresh you can search if I just want to search for Engadget only you can see it's just gonna pull up all the Engadgets um, just like so you can up here you can click refresh let's get out of that cancel you can click refresh here it's gonna refresh all of them and um, let's say I want to focus on that one uh, you tap it and you can reply re retweet send direct message email tweet and of course favorite it um, you also have a settings menu you can go into here and you can just change, you know, just whatever different settings. You can change your picture service and, uh, you know, your sound and whatnot uh, from there. So that's TweetDeck. And uh, the next one, that's free on in the App Store. Next one is Twitterific, and that's also free in the App Store. But right in the um, app itself, you can, uh, as you can see, it went ahead and loaded my new tweets. Um, you can click on account here. You can upgrade for $4.99. You can add multiple accounts and you can remove ads from your timeline. Uh, I really don't think that's worth $4.99. This is your basic menu here. Um, you can also click uh, trends and it's going to show you the trends over here. And uh, your basic you know, screen layout, it uh, doesn't use the real estate all that well. You've just got your, you know, your tweet menu here if you turn it uh, in portrait mode. It's going to take up the whole screen. Um, <clears throat> you also have uh, on your sidebar over here, uh, you've got you can switch it to uh, at mentions, and you can switch it to your direct messages, and of course your favorited tweets. You can do all that there. And then if you want to focus on a, a single post, you can click on it. You can reply to that author, translate the tweet, or uh, email the tweet or retweet to your followers. Let's see if we can, if you click on the icons over there, it's going to load their profile for you. Where you can follow or you can block them. You can check out their recent tweets. You can favorite or you can check out their favorite tweets. You can also see who they're following and see who's following them. Let's get out of that. And then, of course, you can do the same thing for you up here in the corner. And uh, that's basically it. I mean, you can go ahead and click on the trends if you want when you're single. Check out the trends. Um, other than that, not a whole lot to it. Um, the 
Another one is called Twitter Later Pro, and this is uh, four ninety nine in the App Store. And uh, this is actually probably the best fully featured Twitter app at the moment, and uh, the one I find myself using most often right now. Uh, it has a nice layout on the uh, whenever you load it up in landscape mode. Um, you can also let's see it says twenty eight new app mentions. Let's see. Um, this one you can change, even change the background if you want. Um, let's see where we do that. Uh, right there, the settings button. If you want to choose a different wallpaper, right now I've got this uh, nice Apple one. If I want to go and change it to that, or you know, wood grain. There's a couple, you know, just whatever, whatever background you want, you can go ahead and change it to. And uh, let's say I'm pretty happy with that one. Go ahead and get out of there. And um, you can also, uh, let's see, you can go with a larger font size. Let's get out of the settings. It should load with the larger font. Here, let's go back into settings. And I'm going to go ahead and change that back. Composing. You can see you can do auto correction. Auto capitalization, uh, it, it lets you choose what the way you want to retweet <clears throat> the new style or the old, old style. You can turn high res resolution photos on and off. Um, just advance, you can tell it how many tweets to load. Auto refresh, you can tell it the time to refresh it. You can play a sound, you can pick a different sound. This is the default, this is the one that I picked. And let's see. Got a lot of just a lot of different options. Um, let me turn that large font off and get back to. We'll put it on at mentions. So on this landscape mode, uh, you have your tweets over here on the left. And what's really cool is they go ahead and throw the pictures uh, right in the um, right in the list here. And as, as you can see here, uh, MTP Flyers um, posted a, a looks like I don't know. It's a Y Frog. Um, picture of it looks like he's uh, going to the uh, Phillies game and uh, you scroll down just everybody's pictures are right in line which is uh, really nice I really think that's a really good um, way to do it um, the same thing with your app mentions you can see I posted this earlier I got those new eye skins I got the video uh, uploading right now to YouTube and um, just right in line it, it uh, <clears throat> puts the pictures which is really nice um, so on the left is always going to be who you're following. Um, on the right, you can change it to your direct messages. You know, list it like a little envelope there. Um, you can also check out the trends. <coughs> Excuse me. Go to trending topics. You can pick between now, daily, and weekly. Let's click daily. And you can see all the daily trending topics. Uh, you can search location, people. Uh, we don't need to do that. Let's get back there. And then also lists. I don't have any lists. I haven't really got into that. And then, of course, if you've uh, got any tweets that uh, you've, you're drafting but haven't done yet. Um, so if you want to go ahead and type a, a new post a new tweet, you just click on what's happening. And I'm demoing... Twitter later. I don't know if I spelled it right or not, but we're going to go ahead and send that. And as you can see, it makes the new noise. Let me know I have a new tweet. And there it is. And then also a couple other people have uh, posted tweets uh, in the meantime, too. When you pull down to it, it'll also refresh for you. And this one as well, you can turn in <clears throat> portrait mode. Go to your different sections. If you want your friends, it'll pop up there for you. Um, but uh, really the way you want to be using this uh, app is in uh, landscape mode is to get the, really the best um, out of it. And uh, that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you the uh, Twitter apps that I've been playing with and using. I really like Twitter Later Pro right now. Um, I think it's the best out of all the uh, Twitter apps that are out there right now. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to follow me on twitter.com slash technologybrat. Thanks for watching. Peace out, guys, and take it easy.